Hi, Mary Catherine here with Dripping Springs Oyas. Thanks for joining me today. The question we have for today is can I connect my Oyas together to work off of one water source? So the water source is here, and then you connect this Oya to this Oya to this Oya and just keep going with all your Oyas. And the answer is yes, you can do that. And you can do that because I have done that. So what resources do I need? Well, you need an Oya that has a thick neck like this. This is, of course, a 2.9 gallon Oya, very large. So it lasts a long time. And this is a very thick neck, so it can take some drilling, which you will have to do. And what you drill with is all in the video that's coming. And also you'll need some common household things that you could get at a big box store for irrigation. Uh, even in a small box store maybe. So your local hardware store probably has irrigation materials. So that's about all you need. So the next question is, how would I apply this? And it could be a lot of places. It could be in, uh, something small, like if you have a few Oreos in your garden and you just have a water source and you just connect them together, that's easy. Or if you have a straight line of anything, um, beans or corn or anything, you can just you know put these intermittently and then connect them all together. But also if you have something bigger, such as an orchard or something else that you're growing on a larger scale, you can still use these and connect them together. And that is the exciting part of today's video. Let's get to our video. <music> First of all, gather your materials and tools together. Of course, you'll need our amazing 2.9 gallon hardy Oya. And years of evidence shows that our Oyas can take a lot of wear and tear, such as shoveling and drilling. Our clay is a strong clay, as well as being a clean clay. So our Oyas are safe to use in your garden, and they've been cold tested in Canada for the last five years. How to do that and keep them in the ground the whole time, all the way through the winter, without having them damaged, is talked about on our website, on our FAQ. And it is important that you go and read through that because there are a few little technical things you want to do right. We have a less than 1% defective rate in our pottery. And we can thank Felix E., our head potter for that. He's been doing this a long time and he's very talented. And if you look on the bottom of some of the pots, you'll see his stamp. And um, thanks, Felix, for that great work. After that job is done, the Oreos have to be put outside for one week. And it has to be sunny. And that's important because sometimes Mexico has a rainy season. After a week outside, they're fired. But they are fired in a remarkable way. Our potters use a hardwood kiln, just like their parents did and the parents before them, for generations. It's tradition for these crafted artisans to stoke this fire, keeping it to a specific temperature for 12 hours. Then they allow a cooling period afterwards of 24 more hours. This age-old firing system creates a strong, durable, efficient Oya. We feel the men and women who use this ancient system have held on to something really special, and we wanted to share that with you. We feel their dedication to adhere to the time-honored way of creating the highest standard pottery is worth noting and a special thank you to them. So after you get your amazing Oya, you're gonna to need to gather a few more things. You need to get some irrigation tubing. It can be either a quarter inch or half inch. I've chosen a half inch. If you choose quarter inch, you'll need to match that. You'll need a drill to hold this 3 4 inch, 22 millimeter, one piece whole saw tile and stone bit. Anyone would work. This is the one that was at my local store. Of course, if you're using the quarter inch tubing, you'll need a smaller bit. So take a piece of tubing with you to the store to make sure you get the right size. You'll need T's to fit inside your tubing, green back ball valves to fit your tubing. You'll need an adapter to attach the tubing to your water source. How many of each of these you'll need depends on how many Oyas you'll be connecting together. And you'll see a little bit later that there is more than one way to set up an irrigation system using these self-watering Oyas. So once you've picked out your design, it'll help you decide how many Oreos and how many bits and how many T's and all that you need. So setup number one is where the tubing is in a straight line. It's a clean look. 
and the green back drops inside the neck of the Oya. The Oya can have mulch around it because it helps decrease evaporation. And of course the tubing can be hidden under that mulch so it looks very tidy and clean. Setup number two has the ball valve outside the Oya. Some may find this easier to adjust the ball valve. Again, the tubing can be buried a bit and covered with some mulch to help decrease evaporation from the soil. Now, setup number three has the ball valve just inside the Oya with the ball valve basically sticking right out of the hole that you drilled. EcoSense Sustainable Landscape in Tucson, Arizona uses this system and one of their customers said they connected 42 Oyas in one line. I'm eager to get pictures of that but I think it's exciting to see that customers are using this design so effectively. And thank you EcoSense again for showing us this design because it really is quite functional. And while I have you here, I did speak to one customer who put some caulking in the little space between the tubing and the hole he drilled. He does not like slugs and he caulked that opening just in case some slugs might slide in. If you don't have slugs in your area, that probably wouldn't matter, but if you do, it's just a little note from another person who's done that. So you have your tools, you've chosen your design, now it's time to drill. A hole can be drilled into an Oya, whether it is in the ground or above the ground. If the Oya is in the ground, put something firm down on the ground like a board to stabilize your drill. When you go to drill the hole, pay attention to how far down from the lip you go, mainly if you're doing option number three because on option number three, the green back valve goes inside the Oya and when the lid goes on, it has to have enough space to put the lid on without the green back poking up. So we suggest about an inch down. So just pay attention to that when you're drilling. Other than that, it really wouldn't matter how far down the hole goes because the green back's on the outside. But if you're choosing three, option three, make sure you have room to clear. The inside has room to clear for the green back valve poking up. Now it's time to start the drilling. Start the drill slow, slow, slow. The neck of the Oya is obviously curved, which makes the drill want to jump. But once a groove gets started in the neck of the Oya, the process will move along very quickly. Wow. The bit does get hot, and you may have to tap out some terracotta. At least I felt like I did. But it does get really hot, so be warned. Okay, here's where I made my mistake. When I pulled the bit out to check on things and to empty the bit, I pulled up ever so slightly on the bit. And this put pressure on the top of the hole and chipped off a little bit of the terracotta. What I should have done was to pull the bit straight out without tilting the drill bit up at all. Well, the good news is the oil will function just the same, but try not to make that mistake if you can help it. And if you do, don't feel bad. Because look, I did it twice. Once the holes are drilled, connect them together by the design you chose. Connecting the tubing to the water source as a drain barrel or house spigot. Now the part, fun part begins. And on garden time, it is time to regulate the water that goes into your Oyas. But there are variables. There's height and there's volume. So how far your water is from the ground, off of the ground, and how much water is in your containers, it is important because it will affect the water pressure. And if you don't have hot and cold, you know, no worries, don't worry about that, because your water source may look more like this one. And there are other variables as well. One of them is how many hoses you have coming off and how far each hose is going from your water source. Try to refrain yourself from going crazy right up front and just like trying to do it all in one day. Instead, go for something simple like this because that makes things just a little bit easier. And that is the goal of Oya's, is to make watering easier. Okay, now all the variables are set, and this is what you have to think about. It's time to adjust the ball valves to allow the water to flow into the Oya's. This is all about water pressure. We got that, right? So adjust the ball valves. The Oya closest to the water source will have the most pressure to keep the Oya from overflowing Open the ball valve closest to the water source, the least amount, allowing for a small flow of water. As you move from Oya to Oya, open each valve a little more so that the Oya furthest from the source is open the most. 
the water pressure at the end is minimal. Changing a variable would change this too. So if you raise the water source, you have more pressure. If you have your hose longer, you have less pressure. So all this depends on your garden. It cannot be determined until you set things up and fiddle with it a little bit, but you'll get it. It's more common sense than you think. Now, if you're thinking bigger, you can also step up something like this with an IBC tank and a long line of Oreas. This particular crop had an Oreo and then a plant and then an Oreo and then a plant. The plants that were in this crop needed a lot of attention, a lot of water, and they were very sensitive to too much water. So this worked out and it worked well and it's very dependable. And that's it. That's the whole thing. So thank you for joining me today. So if you have any Oya questions, go to our website, Dripping Springs Olas, O-L-L-A-S dot com. Hit the contact tab and just type your question in. I'll be happy to answer them. Happy gardening!